Hey guys, <clears throat> it's uh, 12.51 a.m. on November 15th, 2017. <clears throat> uh, you guys are going into uh, gymnastics practice tomorrow, Wednesday, in the morning. Tessa is now joining you uh, in that. And uh, yeah, you guys are keeping busy. There's one of our stupid cats in the background. All right, well, um, this is going to be a short, a short video, uh, sharing with you what I'm trying to do here. There's a uh, in, the, in the world of comic books. This is the price guide, and uh, in it, uh, it tells you, you know, the comic books and the prices, which I know you can't see from that distance, but it goes up to like 9.2, which is considered near mint. That's usually a pretty good grade. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take my, um, I guess the best of my comics and get them graded so that when I go, um, it'll be easier. It'll be easier for you to, uh, uh, sell them if you wanted to do that because the prices that are on the graded are kind of fixed Now the prices can go up in value. So you got to get a, a book the year at that year to be able to know what they're worth at the time but uh, uh, It's good to get that that book to help you with uh, selling my stuff the um, uh, What I don't want you to do is to uh, you know, put them on a garage sale and put like, you know, $5 for each. Because I put a lot of effort into it and it's kind of a little nest egg kind of thing for um, for you guys. I enjoy the art. I enjoy the memories. So um, this is an example of one. Okay, so this is what a graded um, book looks like. You see it's 9.2, so that's considered near mint. Um, this, this comic here... Is the beginning of a series called, as you can see, "What If," and it asked uh, questions about the characters, if you know situations that never happened in the normal world of comics. This is like the alternate universe kind of stuff. So, the question: What happens if uh, Spider-Man joined the Fantastic Four to make him the Fantastic Five? Read this when I was a kid. Uh, this came out on the top here. It says uh, 277. So, February 1977, this book came out. And then you can see how well I take care of my stuff. <laughs> see that look, boys? You know. Uh, on the back here, it's kind of interesting. This is an advertisement for Evil Knievel, who was like the toy to have in the 70s. He was a motorcycle uh, guy who would jump anything and break his, you know, lots of bones. And they'd be live to show him, and uh, we'd sit and all watch it. So yeah, so this is what this is all about. Um, the case protects the comic, you know, which is good. You cannot open, you cannot open this case without destroying what's inside. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a professional way to do it, you know, where they can take a nice case and they can put a crappy comic in and, you know, make money off that way. But this. This they did a good job with. They they graded it as as it should be. And this is my comic. So that's what um, that's all I wanted to share with you here. Um, again, you'll you'll find these graded and not graded. And um, what I've been trying to do also is I'm leaving you messages on the top of the lids. Yeah, on the top of the lids uh, of the comic book containers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you can read and say, okay, this is the box that has like all dad's best stuff. You know, and then there are boxes that the value is probably, you know, like a couple of bucks for each comic book. And, and so I want to make that easier for you guys. It'd be nice if you could save a few. You know, uh, 
and uh, you know save them with you so that you can remember this was something that your dad liked as a kid and, and even as an adult still love the artwork uh, I recently got my Stan Lee autograph which was really cool and you know you know Stan Lee from all the movies we saw that he would make these cameo appearances but Stan Lee was the writer for most of the early Marvel he's the one who came up with uh, Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four and the Incredible Hulk uh, and all the comic books that became movies that I would take you guys to see regularly and it used to be fun for you to have a picture or an action pose in front of the poster um, that we uh, of the movie we went to so I took you to the Avengers you were guys little tykes you all posed with your your fists you know and so every year since I've been taking pictures and yeah you, know, you can see that innocence is going to like really dead really another picture again but yeah that's what I like to do um, I was a photographer I did a lot of pictures uh, you'll find two in our in my bedroom one is of uh, Nomar Garcia Parra um, that I took at uh, Fenway Park and you can see the background of Fenway Park and the other one was of Mo Vaughn uh, who was swinging that's the one with the green border no more I believe is the one with the red border um, but those are two of my favorite pictures that I took and the one with uh, the green border uh, with Mo Vaughn he has a number on his back that was retired all across baseball because it was um, a famous uh, number uh, Clemente he had that number and they retired it so um, I'm sorry did I say Clemente Jackie Robinson yeah I knew that was wrong so uh, I think it was 42 right and so no one was able to get a 42 uh, once they decided this and those that had it they were grandfathered in but once they retired of course that number would be gone so um, Movon had 42 so it's kind of a nice testimony of saying here was when somebody else other than um, Jackie Robinson was wearing number 42 which you'll never see again in any kind of photograph so it makes it very special to me uh, if you saw those two um, my, my ph photographs and they're the ones that are like really big um, it cost me about three hundred dollars to enlarge that print and then to frame it so don't sell it for anything less than that I signed them both I believe All right but yeah um, it'd be nice if you can keep some of the stuff that again I have and I have so much so I understand it's not gonna be all you know it's your whole house you know being covered in, in the stuff I've collected but anyway that's just a little something um, as I said ha having that comic book from 1977 and keeping it with me all these years now so we're in 2017 so you can you can do the math we got 40 years where I've been carting that thing around and I kept it in great condition I was always on, always on you to, to Put your best foot forward, and uh, and and take care of the things that are yours. Because when you don't, you might regret it. You might feel bad. So I don't know if this is a uh, time delay when I talk, or if I go and then you hear the voice. Uh, but that's it. Nine minute video. On to YouTube. All right. Uh oh. <coughs> oh, there you go. Now you got the whole works right there. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye.